Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Magnet Warrior Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post-Battle of Chaos. With the release of Battle of Chaos, we were given Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior, uh, going in alphabetic order. It is the E for the Magnet Warrior deck. I can't believe it's been all these years and we're only up to the letter E for the deck, but still a great card for addition. It works very, very well for just the overall support and power of the deck, which is to set up all your different Magnet Warriors and also use the Electromagnetic Warriors to then use those monsters to get out the Magna Warriors, which are the uh, powered up versions of all the combinations of the different Magnet and Electromagnet Warriors that we run in the deck. And Epsilon just makes it that much easier to pull off these combos with its search power. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the Magnet Warriors, we are running three of the new Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one level four lower Magnet Warrior monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior. This card's name becomes the sent monster's name until the end phase. Then you can special summon one Magnet Warrior or Magnet Warrior monster from your graveyard with a different name than the cards you control. You can only use this effect of Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior once per turn. So it takes on the name of the Magnet Warrior you send, meaning you can't special summon the one you just sent, but if there's a different Magnet Warrior in in your graveyard, your Magna Warrior that was properly summoned. You can special summon it back onto the field using Epsilon and then have that option of that monster's additional uh, effect if it's normal or special summoned on the field. For the Electromagnetic Warriors, I am also running three Alpha, the Electromagnetic Warrior. I say Electromagnet, I think it's Electromagnet now that I read it. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one level eight Magna Warrior monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Alpha uh, once per turn. And during your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card to special summon one level four Magna Warrior monster from your deck. This is a quick effect. So you have the option to summon Epsilon off of all your Electromagnet Warriors. So with it, you have another option when it's special summon to send an additional card, giving you the special summon of the card you tribute from your graveyard back onto the field. If you already use the card effect for that Magna Warrior the previous turn, Turn, you can then reuse it again when you summon it back onto the field thanks to Epsilon since it'll be on your opponent's turn, giving you more search power, which Alpha, searching out the Magna Warriors, can then give you the two searches needed to summon out your Imperion Magnum, the superconductive battle bot, which needs Valkyrie on the Magna Warrior, and one of the Berserki on the Electromagnet Warrior. So great search and why you want to run three of this. I also run three beta, the Electromagnet Warrior. With this one, uh, when it's normal or special summon, you can add one level four lower Magnet Warrior from your deck to your hand, except for beta, the Electromagnet Warrior. And having the same tribute option means you can go into Epsilon once again on your opponent's turn, summoning back beta. And with that, that is two searches for two additional Magnet Warriors you may need for your plays the following turn. And then for the rest of the Electromagnet Warriors, I run to Gamma. This is a special summon option, so if you can search this card out, you really only need the two copies because then you'll have it in the graveyard to summon back out onto the field. And then also for the option for you to then give you the play to summon out more monsters from your hand, giving the additional special summon because it just says one level four lower Magnet Warrior monster. So very, very useful. And I also run three of the Delta, the Magnet Warrior. If this card is normal or special summon, you can send one level four Magnet Warrior from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish three level four lower Magna Warrior monsters from your graveyard except Delta to special summon one Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So with it, giving you the option for your Valkyrion is very, very strong, but also an additional play for you to then rely on the power of sending more and more cards along with Epsilon. And this card, you should be sending a good number of different Magna Warriors to the graveyard to make use of. I still like to run the original Magnet Warriors just for some different name options. I run one Gamma, one Beta, and one Alpha. Once again, it's a player choice here. If you didn't want to run these cards, you could always just put in additional hand traps into the deck like Ash Blossom or Effect Veiler, but it's player preference at that point. They're still special summon targets. They don't have anything when they're summoned on the field, but being additional level four monsters means if you send these numbers with your Epsilon, you just have more rank four plays available to you to make use of. For the Magna Warriors, I run two Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior. Not only does it have the option for you to special summon by sending the original Magna Warriors, most of the time you'll use Delta to summon out this card onto the field. And also once it's been special summoned properly, you do have the Epsilon option available to you, but the one you'll use more with Epsilon is your Berserkion, the Electro Magna Warrior. Since this one can be easily summoned with the Banish of your Alpha, Beta, and Gamma of the Electro Magna Warriors from your hand or grade, Graveyard or face up in the monster zones. And then the destruction power of this definitely does come in handy. It's the one thing Valkyrion lacks, but you do run still Valkyrion for the fusion option and the fact that Valkyrion is stronger in defense and attack than Berserkion. 
For additional rock support, I also run two Doki Doki. Not only can you use the discard of, let's say, Delta or one of the normal Magna Warriors to then summon out a monster the same level, meaning you can get Epsilon on the field. So depending on what you send, you can then send a different Magnet Warrior to the graveyard and special summon the card you discarded off of Doki Doki back onto the field, giving you the level four play right there with those cards. I like running two of it just as the additional option for those special summons if you need that normal summon on the field. And lastly, for the main core of the deck uh, for the monsters, I run one Sentry Soldier of Stone. If it's set up in the graveyard, it can just be another level three monster to use with your Electromagnet Warriors, which are also level three, to go into rank three plays by special summoning it onto the field by only controlling rock monsters, which is the main deck in a whole as well. For the last of the monsters, uh, I would say Hand Trap of Choice, just three Nibiru. It's a rock monster. It can also be searched off of Gallant Granite. So very, very easy to make use of this card in the deck, adding it to your hand, making your opponent have to play around this card, knowing you have it in your hand ready to use against them. Or if not, just the three copies to easily open it up in your hand if your opponent goes first and tries to set up a board. That is it for the monsters. Moving on now to the spells. I run three Magnet Induction. If you control a Magnet Warrior monster whose original level is four or lower, special summon one level four Magnet Warrior from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Also for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, Magnet Warrior and Magnet Warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects. A great protection card, and it's just a special summon of a Magnet Warrior from your deck. That much more gives you resources for any of the Electro Magnet Warriors. You have a brand new search in the form of my favorite card this video, Epsilon, the Magnet Warrior, a definite three of in the deck. With the other Magnet support card being Magnetic Field, if you control level four lower earth rock monster, you can target one level four or lower earth rock monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can use this effect of Magnetic Field once per turn, and once per turn at the end of damage step when an earth rock monster you control battles an opponent's monster, but it was not destroyed, you can return it to the hand. So if you go up against some extra deck monsters that your opponent may have, this is a great way to just get rid of those resources by just sending them back to the extra deck while still giving you more monsters to special summon to then summon out cards like Valkyrion or Berserkion on the field. For more special summon power, I do run three Ad Emancipator Signs. This card is great in the deck. I know it's an Ad Emancipator card getting the additional bonus when you summon an Ad Emancipator monster, but it's still a monster reborn for a rock monster in your graveyard, summoning it in defense. And this card is not once per turn, so if you open up multiple copies, you can just make use of all of them in your hand for that turn. For the one-ofs for the deck, I run one Polymerization with Vert Anaconda, still, you know, safe um, from the ban list. We can run this card in the deck. An easier way to make use of the Fusion spell to get out our Imperion Magnum using the monsters we search off of the cards like Alpha, the Electromagnet Warrior. One Call by the Grave to stop our opponent's hand traps from stopping our own sends and special summons. One Foolish Burial for setting up other cards, especially Sentry Soldier of Stone, or let's say just another Magnet Warrior you want to special summon aside from your Epsilon for the send search. Also, one Monster Reborn Born for special summoning again just like Adam Emancipator signs and the one terraforming to search out the field spell magnetic field that we run to make use of it that much quickly in the deck and that's it for the main deck we'll now move on to the extra deck our fusion monster is Imperion Magnum the superconductive battle bot it needs one Valkyrion and one Berserkion it must be fusion summoned with the above fusion materials it cannot be special summoned by other ways once per turn during the player's turn your opponent activates a spell or trap or monster effect you can negate the activation and destroy that card and if this face up card uh, leaves the field by an opponent's card effect you can special summon uh, but banish uh, both one Valkyrion and one Berserkion from your hand or deck ignoring their summoning conditions this is why we also run the additional copies of them just to get them out on the quick uh, field that much more quickly a great powerhouse on its own but just giving you more resources and the fact that you can use two magnet warriors to summon out vert anaconda potentially having those cards in your hand makes it that much more scary for the exceeds monsters i run one gallon granite with the level four monsters we run it's a search for any rock monster we may need in the deck one abyss dweller additional graveyard shutdown for our opponent one gorgonic guardian for the rock cards we play it really does help for just destruction against our opponent one levier to summon back our banished cards from berserkion on. One Break Sword, more destruction power against our opponent. Uh, with all the Xyz monsters we run, also one Downward Magician, and one Zeus for more of the power plays. And for the Link monsters, the Vert Anaconda for searching out the Polymerization for our uh, Fusion monster. One Nightmare Cerberus, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Axis Code Talker, one Borolo Dragon, and the one Appaloosa. For the rest of the deck, aside from the Fusion, it is pretty generic. Uh, some of the rock support for the Xyz monsters, but the Links definitely do help since there's no restrictions for some of our plays in the deck that we use. 
As for some of the go-to plays, ones revolving around the new Epsilon play for the Fusion that I spoke of before, just being able to send that monster for the setup is very, very useful because what you can do is you can set up your Alpha, the Magnet Warrior, with this card as well for the special summon. So what you can do is you can send your Alpha the Magnet Warrior with this card, giving this card the name on the field for that card as well. And with it, you also have the special summon option for it back onto the field for your special summon power. Using the special summon of a Magnet Warrior you may maybe have in the graveyard to use. So what you do is you have the search power summoning out your Alpha the Magnet Warrior, using it to then add one of the Magnet Warriors to your hand so that we'll first add Valkyrion then during your opponent's turn you will tribute your alpha to special summon out your epsilon epsilon will then be able to on your opponent's turn send the additional magnet warrior which you can send delta to the graveyard and then special summon a different magnet warrior from your graveyard so then you'll summon alpha onto the field giving you the play for the additional search which is the berserkion having both of the cards in your hand if your opponent destroys your monsters additionally all you to do is have the option for another magnet warrior play to get out two monsters on the field whether it be the gamma to then summon out another monster using their own effects you can then go into the link to play to summon out the vert anaconda having the two you searched off before being the berserkion and the valkyrion sending the polymerization with these two cards as the fusion material to summon out your uh imperion onto the field with these two searches you got using the alpha that was recycled from the epsilon uh when you summoned it. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Definitely loving the Battle of Chaos set. I'll definitely be working on more uh, decks when I get the support for them. It's just that one card that can always change a deck for the better. Just more and more consistency. And Epsilon really does that for the Magnet Warrior deck. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.